Greetings from Siberia! I know it has been a long, long time since I've done a video update on this particular YouTube channel, our English version of YouTube channel, and there's been a lot of reasons for that, but I have made a New Year's resolution this year to start doing regular updates onto the English YouTube channel. That's why the first one this year is in March. <laughs> <laughs> great new year's resolution anyway better late than never uh, so a lot has gone on like i said we, we've had over a year of, with absolutely no activity on this channel no updates so i'm sorry about that but from now on out we're going to be more regular with it so much has gone on this year there's no way of me encapsulating it all in one video so i'm going to start with some of the biggest biggest earth shattering events that have happened over the course of the last year one of which is we moved out of our yurt, which we lived in for two years, for two whole winters, Siberian winters, and have moved into the new milk processing plant with a little apartment on top. So today I'd like to show you the yurt. Tomorrow I'll show you the milk processing plant. The next day I'll show you the apartment. And then the third day I'll show you our heating system. I think it's somewhat unique. So this is the yurt that we stayed in, that we've lived in for two years. So just a few months ago in November, we moved out of this year. That's November of 2018. But before that, back in October 16th of 2016, when we bought the farm, first things first, we set up these three yurts, a yurt like this, and then two smaller yurts. And we, uh, as you might remember, oct end of October, all through November of 2016, there was blizzardy con blizzarding conditions, snow, you know, we had, you know, six, well, not six feet, but three, four feet of snow. It was absolutely incredible. And uh, we qu couldn't even get out to land. So it finally in November, early, or December, early December of 2016, we were able to get out to the land, finish the earth, set them up, get moved out here and get completely snowed in. So that first year we spent uh, running to town with the horses, <laughs> using the horses as transportation, but we, it gave us a base of operations out here on the land, on the farm, that we were able to build the rest of the infrastructure. And so today I'd like to talk a little bit about the yurt, and then we'll go and see um, the, the, the house that we finished building. So we spent two years here. This is a five meter yurt, um, which is about 20 square meters. It's about 220 square feet. Um, so we just had a little wash basin here. Uh, we came in, came in the door here, and there's a wash basin. Then behind that curtain, we had a little composting toilet that is still there, basically a glorified bucket with, um, with sawdust. So you had a big, big basin of sawdust or a big tub of sawdust that we kept in reserve. And then you know, when the did, did, did your deed, and then covered up the sawdust. Then we had um, a baby crib right here where our baby slept. Kirsten, our our now three-year-old, then one-year-old, and then our our big bedroom bed for me and Rebecca um, and then in here behind this curtain we had a bunk bed still there's still a bunk bed there where the girls slept here's a, an Adara and then here we had a kitchen stove um, where we did all of our cooking and then here we had kind of our kitchen area and of course then we had our um, coat racks and stuff here we also had a refrigerator actually standing right here and this coat rack was turned this way so it kind of a little entryway right there so that's kind of how we set it up everything kind of around in a circle we built all the furniture here ourselves my good uh, friend and helper Andre helped us build all this this furniture and this is where we spent uh, almost just just over two years almost exactly two years of our lives um, in this little space so as far as a tiny house go I guess we can say that we've been there and done that <laughs> Um, and we're, we're really, really happy. Lots, lots and lots of very pleasant and blessed memories, um, but we are very happy to now be in the new house. So if anyone's ever thinking of using a yurt as a medium to short term to medium term solution for housing, uh, I say we did it here in the Siberian climate when it was negative 30, negative 40 outside and, and definitely very, very harsh conditions. Um, and I think you can do it. Our, we had another yurt set up next door there was another yurt set up next door that had the a washing machine with a pressure pump and and some water barrels so we would pump water up into those and then use that as kind of our washing facility but i've already showed you our new washing facility that's the banya so uh so that is the yurt i think it was really really a cool cool thing and we're 
glad to have had that experience. It was a very nice experience for us, and I'm glad to be moving into the new apartment. So uh, next video, we'll show you the milk kitchen, the milk, milk processing plant, and then the next video I'll show you is our apartment upstairs for, that we've moved into. So thank you for watching. I hope the, you can, we can get caught up and get kind of back into the flow of making these videos. Uh, if you like what you see, please share, please leave some comments, some likes, and definitely share with your friends, subscribe. That'd be great, great help for us. So as I always say on my Russian YouTube channel, never forget the earth of the Lord's and everything in it. <laughs> God bless.